And when we think about a spontaneous reaction, I think this is a term many of you are familiar with, spontaneous just means that the reaction is going to proceed in the forward direction without any kind of outside intervention. So thinking of a spontaneous process can talk about a chemical reaction, but you could just picture, for example, you know, putting a, a round rock on the top of a hill. It will spontaneously just roll right down that hill. So a spontaneous process also has direction, right, because the rock won't spontaneously roll back up the hill without putting in work. So essentially we're talking about a spontaneous process when something's going to happen without actually having to do anything else uh, to force it to happen. So let's think about, in terms of chemistry, what we're talking about is a spontaneous reaction. That's the specific type of spontaneous process that we're interested in. Um, so let's think about a few different types of spontaneous reactions and see if we can come up uh, with some idea of what's going to cause them to be spontaneous. So one spontaneous reaction uh, is written here. So this is just the oxidation of iron or the formation of rust. This turns out to also be an exothermic reaction. It has a negative delta H of 824 kilojoules per mole. Uh, another spontaneous reaction is written here, the combination of an acid and a base, which neutralizes each other. So we have a hydronium ion and a hydroxide ion interacting to form water. This is spontaneous, and again, it's exothermic. So its delta H is negative 55.9 kilojoules per mole. Let's think about uh, some really relevant reactions in our body. So one incredibly important reaction, of course, is ATP hydrolysis, where we have adenosine here, uh, triphosphate. So we have three phosphate groups here. That's called ATP. It has a total charge of minus four. So if we hydrolyze this, one of the phosphate bonds here, and lose a phosphate, we end up with adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, and that uh, has a charge of minus three. Yep. Oh, no. Okay, thank you. Which equation are we talking about? Sorry, what page are, are you on? Page two. So the one with H3. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, all right. So, all right, let's go back to that. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so if you can fix this reaction in your notes here, um, I'll also fix it on the website. So if you don't want to fix it now, I'll just repost the notes. Uh, so it should be uh, four irons. Uh, yeah, sorry, plus three oxygens is two Fe2O3 solid. All right, thanks for pointing that out. All right, uh, does everyone have that down? I know you have to flip a page there. Okay. All right, so I'll post it in the notes if you didn't get it there. So let's go back to ATP hydrolysis here. So uh, we're going from ATP to ADP, and that is a spontaneous process, and it has an, it's an exothermic reaction as well. So we find that it's negative 24 kilojoules per mole in terms of the change in, in enthalpy there. <laughs> 